paper that was kindly published by and nsaid concerns the rich and and developing relationship between social media and job searching and further how it impacts us as new and aspiring professionals and who am i i'm one of those aspiring professionals i am addressing Although aimed at MLIS graduates, my desire in this presentation and my paper is actually to spark a conversation. A conversation that will find meaning in our libraries, at our schools, with our patrons, in our communities, and with us as ever-evolving professionals. To begin this oh-so-brief presentation, let's look at the social lights. Social networking is a broad field of study which examines relationships among actors. It is all about connections, but not just the strong connections. Grenoveter, in his Strength of Weak Ties proposition, explains that having weak ties to people who move in circles outside of our own, such as all the other people in this room with us today, is highly productive, especially where the job search is concerned. Social networking during the job search uh, involves contacting friends, acquaintances, and others in order to gain information, leads, and advice on landing a job. Today, this process is easier than ever thanks to social media. Social media and the closely related Web 2.0 phenomenon have taken social networking during the job search to a new level. They have escalated it to job search 2.0. Hopefully to grand results for you and me as job seekers. So this is where the socialites meet, job search 2.0. My paper looks closely at both the passive participation aspects as well as the active participation aspects of Job Search 2.0. And I encourage you re to read the paper to learn more about them since we have limited time here today. However, at this time, I offer a very important disclaimer. Neither my paper nor my presentation are prescribing nor proscribing activities related to Job Search 2.0. Instead, it's simply a call to be conscientious about your involvement in Job Search 2.0 when and whether you decide to do it. Know, too, that non-participation is always an option. But, like participation, it is fraught with hurts and helps. So, you, of course, are the master of your own job search experience in LIS and how you choose to balance both the issues and the opportunities that surround it. But know that Job Search 2.0 is a skill building opportunity we all have, and it has impacts far beyond our acquisition of a job. In fact, Job Search 2.0 impacts our libraries in a very real way. The relevancy and exercise of skills developed during the Job Search 2.0 process will find new meaning and new life in the institution lucky enough to hire you and hopefully me as well. Um, because Job Search 2.0 skills determine who is employed in libraries, it also determines, in turn, how libraries employ not only Library 2.0, Web 2.0, and Job Search 2.0, but how we're employing technology in general. And in our economically strapped times, these free and democratic opportunities for networking, creating, reaching out, and growing are priceless, both literally and figuratively. To close today, I would like to say that for MLIS grads, social media is not a job search panacea, but a resourceful, innovative way to enhance an already strategic job search process. And it presents many opportunities to improve our libraries, our patrons' lives, our communities, and as mentioned before, our ever-evolving professional selves. In this way, Job Search 2.0 is an important piece of the puzzle of providing integration, innovation, and information for all. And that is the end. <laughs>